Hello everyone, it's Scott and Movie Creator back again with another video and today I'm going to be going over some films in my collection that I think are quite underrated and I think that you should um, all check these films out and um, yeah, I thought this would just be um, a little cool video, um, something a bit different, I haven't done this um, type of video in a while and um, I really enjoy all these films and I think they are absolutely fantastic and I think that I'm um, a lot of you would get some enjoyment out of these as well but before i um, go into the films i want to give a few shout outs um first of all i'm going to give a shout out to um a viewer of mine um um alina um thank you so much for watching she's a um work um colleague of john from monday chelovic movies and he um requested that um i give a shout out to alina because she's a massive fan of my channel so thank you so much alina for watching all my stuff i really do appreciate it and the kind words really do mean a lot and i'll also give a shout out to john mondo chelovec movies um it was great having him on my live stream a couple of weeks back he's an absolutely brilliant guy and i'm also going to give shout outs to um dan from dan's movie came uh, cave and um Carlos um, Eastwood for Life Fan and Jeff 101 Bronson. Um, John had a live stream on their channel, um, on Dan's channel a few, um, a week back or so, and it had Jeff and Carlos on there as well. And it was an absolutely incredible live stream. I really, really enjoyed it. So I'll leave links in the description box down below to all their channels because it was such a great stream and they all have fantastic content. I'm also going to give shout outs to. Um, Nigel Rock God 2004 and um Dale Boy and um Ryan Let's Get Kicking Movies. Done a watch along um live stream with them um a few days ago of Cross and Ukam High and it was absolutely incredible. Really, really enjoyed it. And also all of the um watch alongs that I do with those guys are just so much fun and they all have amazing content as well. So give those all those guys a subs because they um all have brilliant channels. And uh, with all that being said, um, let's get into the films. So first up is a film called Untamed Heart. I'm going to give a massive shout out, shout out and thank you to Andy Forgotten World of Movies for recommending this film to me. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel as well. Give him a sub because he's got some amazing content. And yeah, this was um, a fantastic film. Really, really enjoyed it. It's basically about... Um, this guy sort of has um, a dicky heart, hence um, the name Untamed Heart. He has a dodgy heart in this film. But and um, there's this um, girl that he sort of takes a lot like in two plays by Marissa Tomei. And um, yeah, um, she, something sort of happens to her, sort of gets attacked by these um, gang of guys and he sort of um, steps in and sort of saves the day for her. And then um, the more they are sort of like talking, the more they get to know each other, they sort of build this like... Um, love relationship throughout the movie and yeah it's a really really heartfelt film um really touching story as a really really sad ending though it's definitely um want to make you tear up by the end it's got a really emotional ending but um yeah really amazing film um really really underrated and i highly highly recommend it it's so good and i i think um it is a fantastic film Next up is a film that was also recommended to me by Andy and it's called Stay Tuned. This is a really entertaining film. I think it is absolutely hilarious. It's basically about this guy um, played by um, John Ritter. He plays with character. He sort of um, gets this like um, TV remote um, because his old um, TV saw like busted up, uh, broken and um, he gets this um, new remote. I think it's by the devil or something like that. And um, he sort of uses the wrong buttons and he gets sucked into the TV itself. And it sort of um, puts him into like these famous scenes from iconic films and TV shows. And it just keeps going on and on like that until he um, sort of has to escape by doing different challenges and stuff. And yeah, it's just really, really funny. And I think the funniest scene is this scene in particular where Wayne and Garth is um zombies in this um scene and yeah from what obviously from wayne's world of course and yeah it's just so hilarious i highly recommend this film it's such a great comedy from the 90s a really really great film there next up is a film called um high learning which is a film set in um university and it sort of deals with subjects of like racism and stuff like that 
and yeah it's just some um, really powerful and emotional story really upsetting and hard to watch in places as well with some of the due to some of the context of some of the stuff that happens in this movie some of it is really hard to watch but it is such a powerful film has some really um um really good messages told in this film as well it's a really important film and yeah it's just um so well made as well it's really really incredible it has some amazing performances in this film by omar epps who was also in juice and also got um lawrence fishburne in this film as well um yeah just such a great um film from the 90s here michael um rap reports in this film as well he gives an amazing performance in this film but um yeah he's such a horrible character does some really bad stuff in this film but um yeah no this film's absolutely incredible and i highly recommend it i think it's um really underrated and it, it um needs to be seen by a lot more people it's such a great film next up is a horror film from the 80s called prison um which is a really wacky 80s horror film set set in a prison obviously um it's all about this prison it sort of comes to life um and starts killing people in brutal ways like the, the actual prison starts killing people and it's just such a st stupid film but it really really works and um yeah it's a really um interesting film it's similar to shock in a way because I, I think um this guy sort of gets um electrocuted in an electric chair at the start of the film i think as well from what i remember i haven't seen this film in quite a long time so i can't remember too much about it from but from what i remember it is a really entertaining and wacky film this it's yeah so so strange but it, it just really works for me and it's a really entertaining film if you like your corny 80s horror films with a lot of gore you'll definitely get a kick out of this one i think it's a really underrated horror film from the late 80s here and i highly recommend it it's brilliant and next up i'm going to go with a james bond film in the james bond collection and i'm going to give a shout out to mike cinemax man who um recommended license to kill with me to me that's the film i'm going to choose from this james bond box set i'm also going to leave um a link to his um covers channel his music channel as well which is michael woods covers i believe he done an absolutely wonderful tribute um to his friend richard it would have been his birthday yesterday and um oh, he passed away a few months ago unfortunately which is such a sad loss to obviously mike and andy there and mike has done an absolutely amazing tribute and um it's such a great um cover song there and he's put that up on his youtube um covers youtube channel yesterday and it was just such a heartbreaking heartfelt song so yeah if you haven't heard it already definitely check out that song in particular it's absolutely heartbreaking and gut-wrenching it's just absolutely beautiful such a wonderful tribute um there so yeah i'll leave a link to both these channels down below definitely give them a sub on both channels absolutely excellent stuff but yeah no license to kill is a film that i heard great things about going in and um to yeah it's a really underrated james bond film um it, it's um timothy dalton is absolutely fantastic in the role um it has some really great villains in this one really memorable villains actually and yeah it's quite gory in places as well it's actually really tense with some of the action in this film's absolutely brilliant to be fair it's got some really cool stunts and practical effects it really is um different to the other bond films this one really stands out um to the rest of them this is definitely one of my favorite um bond films and it doesn't get talked about um that much when it comes to james bond films which is a shame because obviously most people talk about either the sean connery ones and obviously daniel craig ones as well and you know golden eye and stuff like that but um yeah i think license to kill is sort of one it get gets lost under the radar a bit and i think it's a absolutely amazing 80s james bond film and it has a incredible score as well the music's brilliant in it as well and i think it just sort of gets a bit lost in this series of films which is a shame but it is absolutely incredible action film there and a great james bond film and i highly recommend it really underrated so there you have it everyone there is just some of the films that i find to be quite underrated that i own in my collection i hope you've all enjoyed this um video everyone it was a, just a little before i do something different there but um yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much, everyone. And um, let me know if there's any films you've you got um, 
in this collection in any of your collections that you find underrated or let me know what you think of any of these films have you seen any of them let me know down below that would be very much appreciated would love to hear all your thoughts thank you so much everyone so yeah that would about do it for this video everyone take care everyone and i'll see you all later